Hey guys, this is Steven from RedmanPie.com with a guide on how to jailbreak your iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad on iOS firmware 4.2.1 with the new Red Snow. So unfortunately, Red Snow can currently only jailbreak the newer devices tetheredly. This tethered condition means that you will have to boot into a jailbroken state every time you turn off your device by plugging into a computer and running Red Snow again. And also, I'll be demonstrating this tutorial on my iPad. Remember that a written guide and all downloadables for both Windows and Mac are available in the description below. Step 1. Download the iOS 4.2.1 firmware for the device you're going to jailbreak along with the Red Snow program for Windows or Mac. Step 2. If you haven't already, get iOS 4.2.1 on that device. You can update or restore inside iTunes with the same file you downloaded earlier. Once iOS 4.2.1 is installed, you might also want to back up your device before doing the jailbreak just in case anything happens. Step 3. Once you're ready for the jailbreak, open up the Red Snow program and click on the Browse button. A window will pop up. Now locate the 4.2.1 firmware file you downloaded earlier for the device you're going to be jailbreaking. Once you've found the firmware, click the Open button. Once the firmware is identified, click Next and Red Snow will inject the code onto the firmware. Step 4. Now select Install Cydia and just click Next. Step 5. Red Snow will now ask you to put your device into DFU mode. Before you click Next, make sure your device is both turned off completely and plugged into the computer. Get ready to press the power button on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Click Next and follow the on-screen instruction in entering DFU mode. If you're having trouble, restart your device and try again. A black screen after means that you have successfully entered DFU mode. Red Snow will now proceed with the jailbreak. Sit back and enjoy Red Snow doing the rest for you. Once done, your iPhone or iPod Touch will start automatically. Step 7. When your device first starts up, you might notice that Cydia is crashing every time you try to launch it. This is because of the tethered jailbreak. So to fully activate the jailbreak, start Red Snow and do the same steps again. Instead this time, tick Just Boot Tethered right now and click Next to do the process again. Now you'll see your device booting up with a pineapple logo to show that it is in a pwned state. And Cydia is now fully working. Alright, so that is how to jailbreak any iPhone, any iPod Touch, and any iPad on 4.2.1. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, consider subscribing and make sure you check out my channel. This is Steven from RedmanPie.com and I'll see you guys in the next video.